22-year-old Karina Havina is practicing her English, writing sentences and then saying them out loud. My name is Karina. I am happy to be here. Havina arrived from Ukraine less than two months ago, reluctantly leaving her 19-year-old brother and mother behind. She was really scared the day when it starts. So they feel like maybe they will just bomb them and everyone will die. She's come to live with her aunt in Altona, a small Mennonite community in southern Manitoba. She came, she said, like, you know what, Nelly? I feel like more safe and peaceful. But she still worry about, of course, about her mom and her family. Nelly Voloshinovsky is also a relative newcomer. She started a new life in Altona five years ago. Hi, Callum. How's it going? Good, and you? <laughs> I'm Aww, doing well. Good. Yeah. She's been working with Callum Morrison, who's helping resettle other families. As you see, people are donating many different items. Mm -hmm. Sometimes people will think out here, we might be closed-minded, we might um, not be open to change, but really we're coming together to support those who need it. Another of Altona's big attractions, jobs. The printing press is always running at Altona's largest employer. One third of the workers here weren't born in Canada, and there are jobs for Ukrainian refugees as well. We kind of set them up in all sorts of ways to make sure that they have success when they land in Altona. So you're more than just an employer, you're like a family. Yeah, definitely. Ukrainians aren't the only newcomers here. Altona has sponsored more than 300 refugees, all from war-torn countries in the last 15 years. People here say that's given them a broader world view, and it's also given them a different perspective on Canada. I mean, obviously, when you look at our history, when you look at what's happening, uh, we have made a lot of mistakes, a lot of terrible things have happened, but all in all, it's, it's, it's still a pretty good country. Karina Havina agrees. She is really happy to be here. Her dream? To learn English, start her own business, and become a Canadian citizen. Karen Pauls, CBC News, Altona, Manitoba.